Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I am going to be using the Laser Pecker 2 again. This is my second video. I already did an unboxing, testing it out, but today I'm going to be diving in a little bit deeper and I'm going to be engraving some back to school materials. I want to see personally what all different types of materials and um, surfaces that I can engrave on. So today I'm going to be doing mainly some back to school, but I'm going to be testing out some other things as well and just trying to take it up a notch to see what all this looks little baby can do. So if this is your first time ever hearing about the Laser Pecker, this is the Laser Pecker 2. It's the latest model. Even though it's small and you're like, what can that little thing do? It can engrave, it can cut, and it can do so much. So if you want to know all its features, everything, you can watch my unboxing video. I'll have that link down below in the description box. So that way you can test that out. And I'm going to be doing some more videos, but today I'm going to be specifically testing it out on various materials, mainly back to school products, so I can put my name, son, on pretty much everything. But I'm gonna also do like a nice cutting board, just different things. So I'm hoping that I can, you know, engrave on a book bag. Today I'm just gonna try to do some of these different school supplies because we know kids be stealing stuff, you know, my son be losing stuff. So I'm just have different things and I wanna see what all I can engrave. So if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, this will be linked down below in the description box. You have to click see more and it'll open up the description box so that way you'll get all the links. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that way you are notified every time I post a new video. Let's have some fun engraving. First, safety glasses. As always, you must have your safety goggles. It does come with it. And you want to make sure you're using the app. Now, last time I was using the app, I was not hitting the preview um, function. So that way I can make sure my um, engravings are perfectly lined up. So I'm definitely going to be doing that today. So thank you for all those in the last video who was commenting saying that I didn't. And the preview button was literally like right there, but I did not use it. So I'm definitely going to be using you and showing you how to use the preview button. So that way you can make sure everything is perfectly centered or where exactly you want it. All right, so let's get started without further ado. So I'm just going to start out with this cloth. I'm going to lower this down. I know I said back to school, but I'm just going to show you guys how you line everything up perfectly. You want to open up your Laser Pecker app, making sure it's connected to the Bluetooth. And I'm going to pull up my camera and I'm going to actually engrave this. Put this on the napkin. Next. And I'm going to go 60. I'm going to hit the preview button right here. I can take the brightness up. I want you guys to really see that. Now I can take the brightness of the light up. I can move that up or down. So as you can see the light gets brighter. I'm using the app to control it. So now I'm going to click quit preview. I'm going to click next. And now I'm going to select my material. And this is more of a cloth so I'm going to click cloth. I have it on 100% power. I'm gonna to go to 2% depth with one pass. And here we go. Okay, that's done. Gonna lift that up. I like the way that looks. Look at that. The Bacon Family. And I can feel that. That was 2% depth, so you can definitely feel the engraving. I'm gonna put that on my cutting board later. Look how cool that is. Okay, so next I have like my son's book bag. This is something that they gave him because he's gonna be going to middle school. And I just wanna see if I can put his name on it because this is gonna be something that multiple kids are gonna have the same thing of. You know, these little drawstring bags. I know this is plastic. So I'm gonna put this in here making sure this is kind of centered. I want his name right in the center if I can get it. Okay, so that's plastic. All I'm gonna do is just engrave his name on it. This time I'm gonna go to create and I'm just gonna type in his name. So I'm gonna do preview. So I got the preview. So you can see the preview right there. That's where it's gonna be at. Thank you. 
and I put it in the right direction. But guys, check that out. That's almost, you can't see it because it's black on black. But that definitely came out perfect. His name on his bag. That came out so nice. I just wish you could see it better. Next, I'm doing my son's school folders and I'm gonna apply his name to them just to see how these turn out. So this is how the folder came out and I probably shouldn't have done the 2% death and I put plastic on this one. Nothing came through, but I'm gonna do another folder because I wanna get it perfect and I wanna get his name on his folders. So I tested it off camera just to see and it came out perfect that time. So this was the front side, which I messed up. And I got it perfect on the back side. So I'm going to do the rest of them. Here we go. So as you see, each one came out a little different. The red one might be the best. But those are the folders that I put his name on. Okay, so I detached it and now I'm just gonna use it as a handheld and I'm going to engrave on this bag. So I'm bringing it up because I can see the preview. And that looks like it's almost centered with the bag just so you guys can see that. I can see my light for the preview button. I'm gonna click, I'm gonna cancel preview. I'm gonna click next and I'm just going to hit cloth because this is like a cloth material and I can really see that coming through already look at that guys when I mean my finger up against it and I can definitely feel it that was at a 5% depth, but let's keep moving on. It's the bag. I can kind of see it from afar, but it's definitely hard to read. All right, I'm gonna put my name on the Holy Word, <laughs> my Bible. I better not mess up my Bible. I love this Bible. So this is leather. Again, I'm testing out different materials. So I'm going to engrave my name down here in the corner on a leather Bible. I'm going to select leather because this is of course leather this time around, 100% power, and I'm going to click the preview button of course. I need to see where the light is showing up at. So I need to bring this over because I want my name literally right there in the corner at the bottom okay so that's good oh baby that did really good look at the engraving oh man it was a little slanted it was a little slanted and that was me that was because of my hand so because it wasn't flat, I should have probably did it like that. Duh, Trina. I should have done it like that, laid it down. It would have been much better had I did that. But the end came out, but because it was kind of slanted, I kind of messed it up just a little bit. So I'm learning, I'm learning. Takes practice, takes perfection. So leather is easy, but I gotta make sure my surface is flat. Gotta make sure my surface is flat. And that's how that one came out. So guys, let's do a cutting board. Let's have some real fun. Let's have some real fun. Okay, so this time around, this time around, I have to upload an image. So I'm going to go to my album. I'm going to go back to that image that you see right here, and I'm going to upload it. I'm going to click next. I'm going to click next. And I want this to be as large as it can be. I'm gonna put it. Um, I'm gonna put it on this side. I'm gonna put it on this side over in the corner. Now I'm gonna select my material, which is gonna be wood. Okay. 
Okay, so I took it off because I wanted it positioned, you know, in the center, but I still had it laying on there. And this is how that one came out. Look at that. So I'm gonna show you, this is the second time I did it. The first time I did it, I did it with two passes. This was the, this was the second time, one pass, but the first time I did it, I moved it a little bit and it shifted. So as you see right there, this one I can feel much better. It suggested two passes, but they almost look the same. Just a little bit different. The other one's just a little bit darker, but I didn't want, you know, of course, the, um, the shift on it. It shifted just a little bit right there, so you can see my hand got tired. I was holding it that time, so I did it again. But I want you guys to look at it from like the sides. I don't know if you can really see those grooves, those, I mean, it really, got the details down so good i might start engraving cutting boards y'all stop playing i love that so of course i'm gonna do all my other ones my bigger ones so i got this design from creative fabrica if you want to know the link is down below in the description box you can sign up and they have other options to choose from as well so this one definitely you can even see like the the small dots the leaves it picked up even more compared to this one but either way they both look great let me know what you think down in the comments below so i'm just going to attach this back right on here since i didn't take it apart on this video i did it in the other one all you gotta do is just screw that back on that's how you detach it back and forth so now i'm going to do this metal tag for my son so he can have like a little chain around his neck for school so he can be cool we're gonna do that on this metal substrate. This is my first time doing stainless steel. Ah, oh, it came out. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm so excited. Guys, look at that. Yes. Let me wipe it off. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe it off, take some alcohol. I gotta get him like a little chain to go around it so he can wear it around his neck. That came out nice. Look at that. I rotated it. I tried to get it as straight as possible, but it was just off just a little bit. You can see it's a little bit crooked, but it's okay. But it's definitely okay. I can always, you know, do it on the other side, put another engraving. So because my son has really challenging days in school sometimes, what I'm gonna actually do on the other side is I'm gonna type up a nice little message because I always put handwritten notes and messages in his lunchbox, surprise him, but he's going to middle school. So, you know, I don't want him to get, you know, get embarrassed. So what I'll do is I'll get a nice sweet message and I'll engrave it and that way he can wear this whenever he's feeling down or, di um, or feeling discouraged. He can always flip it over and he can read his message from me. This is really nice. So guys, you can engrave personal messages with these. I might make this a thing. Hmm. This is nice. Let me know what you think. This was the stainless steel. So I used the stainless steel setting with 100% um, depth and 100% power. One pass. This was only one pass. All right. So that's the stainless steel. Now I'm going to try out his notebook. And it says this glows in the dark. So hopefully his name will glow in the dark too. That would be cool. Okay, let's see how his composition notebook came out. It keeps like lagging off at the end, but the middle came out perfect. It's the end that's not coming out too great. But nonetheless, I'll figure it out. So last but not least, I'm using the Versatile Electric Roller. This is a separate attachment that you can get and it will allow you to engrave on pretty much any cylinder shaped objects from mugs, tumblers, bats, pencils, and more. So I'm using the stainless steel tumbler for the very first time and I was blown away, I must say. The blue light removed all the white coating and my design showed right through on the stainless steel. So this was really neat. It rotates as it's engraving. I wasn't sure if I had it in the right direction the very 
first time, but I got it right. It's pretty much the opposite direction of you looking at it. So it worked out perfectly. It takes a little bit longer, of course. So this was 100% power and 100% depth. So this worked out really great. So I'm gonna show you the final results, what it looks like. And if you're interested in this Laser Packer 2 or this electric roller, the link will be down below. They're running an awesome back to school sale right now. So you can check it out if you wanna add this to your business. Okay. All right, so that took a few minutes because of course, you know, it's stainless steel, takes longer. I was just testing it out on here. So now that I know I have the settings perfect, I know what direction, because again, this did have something on the back side of it. So I'm just gonna wipe that off because you know, you do have to wipe it off. There's a, gonna be some residue, some dust from, you know, removing of course the coating. Okay, so I'll get the rest of that off, but that looks so good. That looks so good, guys. Like, really. Um, and I know because it's cylinder shaped, it's kind of, you know, wobbly. Because, of course, this isn't one straight level. It gets smaller at the bottom. It's narrow. Now, this rotated it for me. Because this was, you know, had to go like this, it actually, you know, rotated a little bit. Now, if you're doing something straight, like a ruler, a pencil, you know, um, something large, and you only want it on one, you can put rubber grips around so it doesn't rotate, so it doesn't, you know, slide. But take a closer look at this. This is how this one came out. I am really pleased for the first time doing it on a tumbler. Okay, laser pecker. I like this. I like this. So I'm going to show you everything I did today. Um, I did quite a bit of materials. I did quite a bit of materials. I want to show you a good variety of everything that it can do, and it still can do more. I still haven't even done everything. So last video, I showed you I did the leather ID tags. I did those last time. I did some small cards, and these, um, this is acrylic, so, you know, I did these. I engraved these. I just want to show you what I did on the last video, just in case if you didn't see the other video I had did my logo this is when I didn't know to hit the preview button to center it so you know now that I know how exactly to center all the designs we got that down today so today I did of course the tumbler you can do stainless steel tumblers I really wanted to show that I did some of my son's notebooks and folders so now I did my son's composition book. I used the black one because, you know, hopefully it'll show better. I did his folders as well, put the names on them because I just really wanted to see, you know, test out all the different materials. So, you know, we did the paper. I used the paper settings for this. I used the paper settings for that. I did the cloth. Now this came out really nice. You can engrave like party napkins, all type of different things. You know, you can engrave that, put your monograms on them. Oh yes, that's a great idea. Like decorations for the holidays, engrave like napkin place settings that I'm going to do that. Put like, you know, I won't put my whole you know name, but like, you know, the initials or something or a nice saying for the holidays. I did his cloth backpack little bag and guys that actually went through i didn't even notice that until just now that actually went through i'm gonna see if i can put paper under here so you guys can see it um let me see just so you can see that it actually did laser Let's see if you can see that now because looking at it with black on black it's kind of hard to see so, but if you see the laser on the, the plywood behind it, you'll be able to see that it actually did, you know, go through. Okay, so that was that one. I did my Bible. I put my name on it. I just had it, you know, handheld and it wasn't um, even all the way, but I did my Bible, engraved my name at the bottom. We did the backpack. Now, listen, this backpack right here, when I look at it from a distance, might be hard to tell because it's black on black, you know, it's on camera. But I did this, it did actually engrave, you know, the bag. So that looks really great. Um, just kind of hard to read. It did go through, but it was kind of hard to read. So I did the bag. 
and I did the ID tag for my son, so I'm definitely going to get like a chain. I'm going to do a special message on the back as well, so he'll really love that a little surprise for him. So that way he'll have a message from me every day to keep him motivated in school. I love like little messages. So now I'll be able to engrave a message on there for him. And of course, last but not least, I did my cutting board and this one came out so great. I did it twice because the first time it, my hand shifted a little bit and then I did it again. So this one I had one pass and this one I had two passes. So guys, as you can see, this thing packs a whole punch. I did so many different materials from leather to plastic to paper to stainless steel to wood, metal, you name it. You can do anything, pretty much anything with the laser pecker. So I'm still learning and I'm going to bring you um, some more videos down the line showing you. So you can turn this little thing into a business and engrave so many different things for your business or just for, you know, things around the house. You can hold it in your hand. You can use it with the attachment. Now this one is separate. You do have to buy the cylinder attachment separately, but I'll have both of them linked down below in the description box. Um, let me know which one was your favorite as well. And I will see you guys in the next video as always. Bye. Look at everything it can do. All the engravings. So cool. Me. Hopefully you can see it better right here. Look at this man. Look at this tunnel. Come on, y'all. Y'all can't tell me that's not super fly. Super, super fly, super, super fly. Of course, that would have been hot had I not shifted my, had it, had it been even, that would have been perfect. And this is the bag, really small. All right, but that's everything for today. Of course, you can upload your own images. You can use their samples. You can type in in the app and you can do it all with the laser pecker. See you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.